Welcome back everybody, my name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today we're gonna to be talking about progression in Don't Starve Together and why I think it needs to become a thing. Don't worry about these two, they're just here for an example and they'll be attacking each other for a little while. Now, in Don't Starve Together, if you've played it for an entire year, you realize that there's multiple different bosses to experience that will try to kill you, and so on and so on and so on. First starting with the Deerclops, and then eventually we get to, I guess you can consider the Moose Goose as the boss, maybe if it ends up attacking you. You get to the Ant Lion, which eventually will show up in summertime, which tries to smash up your base unless you appease it or kill it. Then you go over to the Bee Queen, which is an optional boss to kill or not kill, depending on what you want to do. Same with the Deer... Or sorry, same with the the dragonfly which is located in near the actual lava ponds and then of course there's more bosses and more bosses the ones that i think that i'm going to be talking about right now are the deer clops and more so the seasonal bosses because i think some of the other bosses are pretty good in some upcoming videos you're going to notice that i've actually been talking about different bosses that i think they need to be reworked and or upgraded and of course you know i'll explain as to what i think specifically needs to be done with them so let's talk about why there needs to be progression and don't starve together. And what do I mean by progression in general? Well, progression would mean that as you get further into don't starve together, let's just say a year or two in the game, the game starts to get harder and harder and harder. A reason for this is because, of course, the feeling of the game becoming kind of stagnant and not getting harder. So, for example, think of it like Terraria, right? I've explained this in a few videos back when I first started making videos on YouTube, and of course the feedback was pretty good. So let's go ahead and absorb a lot more feedback. If you have any comments about it, please feel free to comment down below and tell me what you believe and what you think needs to be added. Now, in Terraria, we all know that when you kill the Wall of Flesh, it ends up causing the actual world to switch up to its difficulty and get a little bit harder. I still think the same thing should happen in Don't Starve Together. For example, if you kill the Fuel Weaver or whatever the final boss is going to be after this update, you're probably going to end up going through the process of actually getting the world harder. Well, maybe, I don't know yet because we not, are a little bit unsure on that and who knows if clay will end up doing something like that but i would love to see it because also why is this world gen so weird i kind of like it that's kind of weird anyways because in this situation what's going to end up happening is once we go through the process of surviving a year in dst we're basically repeating the same year every single time which is kind of fun i guess but it's also kind of not fun so if you're a veteran to don't serve together you're probably gonna get you're probably gonna say i would love to see some sort of progression let the game get a little bit harder it could also be an option that you turn on or turn off and don't serve together as well i don't know if that's the way that clay is eventually starting to go through the process to make it harder for us i have no idea but as we know that if you just want to basically survive for 1000 million years in dst it's completely possible as every year is exactly the same and nothing changes at all now mind you some things can change for example if you kill or if you want to kill a celestial champion we know that the storm shows up and then blah 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 and you have all those things that you have to tackle before continuing on in the world so before we go any further of course those are things to be considered as it's not a foolproof situation that there's not really no progression but i still think there needs to be some way so for example if we survive a year and don't survive together, certain things can get a little bit harder. Maybe like the, the deer clops gets harder, which is just a boss. Maybe it's a little bit more difficult where random, random more things start to attack you, like mobs. Maybe things get a little bit more difficult. Grass stops growing as much, things like that. Going through the process of basically making you try an alternate way of survival would be really awesome. Randomization included or whatever else, just to kind of keep you on your toes, especially if you're trying to, like, survive a long time now keep in mind if you're new to no time together you're probably looking at this going well what the heck i don't understand why you would want that the game's already hard as it is now keep in mind i totally agree that sometimes when you play don't serve together if you're new to the game you might be saying yes this is already as difficult as it can get i don't want it to be any harder but to keep in mind that there are people that have been playing for multiple years and don't serve together and after them playing for the thousandth time you eventually want to have or see some sort of difficulty change available in the game so i think we are getting there I don't know if per se that it's happening right now, but look at Hamlet, for example. With the apocalypse that would eventually happen, you would be forced into going into the ruins to find a solution to stop the apocalypse, otherwise you basically would die. You wouldn't really die, but you probably would die. And of course, once you die and don't starve, the game is over unless you've attuned to a meat effigy or and or that little flower thing. And of course, Hamlet is one of those games that I absolutely love for that reason specifically, because the game basically tests your time. It says, look, if you're gonna go through the process of trying to survive, eventually if you die, you have to restart, and and guess what? We have a little timer there that's going to tick down every day that you just waste around. 
Don't Starve Together is meant to be an open box survival game, but at the same time, too, it would be really nice to find out if there's a ways to add in a progression way. You know, this could... Uh, with the skill trees being added in, it's entirely possible that we could eventually see such a thing. Now, it could always be an option that gets turned on or off, or it could be the option that once you kill the fuel weaver, like I said, and or the final boss, that the progression starts to accumulate, which is causing hard mode and or extreme mode and don't starve, which you basically choose your own difficulty depending on if you decide to choose to kill that boss or not. So... Would this happen? I don't know. Could this happen? I don't know. Do I want it to happen? Yes. I feel like Don't Serve Together has reached a point where the game is basically expanded to a certain extent, where if you are basically playing it to survive as long as you want, that's great if you want to make a giant mega base. But at the same time, too, if you want to challenge yourself extremely, you almost have to do other things like download a mod. Example, Uncompromising Mode or Mod or whatever. That mod is amazing and it really gives you a true insight on what Don't Starve could be around to actually test your skills. So if you want to try a mod that and what I'm referring to, try that mod out because it's amazing and it's very difficult at the same time. And eventually it will test you to the point where you basically say, I can't stand this anymore. But the reason why it's so good is because it's doing exactly that. It's causing damage to uh, happen in random moments. Winter becomes almost exhausting to the point where you can't even survive. And you're basically as if you just started playing Don't Starve Together at the very beginning of it. So let's go ahead and showcase that mod if you're curious about it in case you want to check it out. But I also don't like the idea of just a applying mods into Don't Starve Together when I feel like I am the person that likes to be challenged by devs because it's like Clay is, is trying to attack us, not attack us, sorry, Clay is trying to test us by attacking us with their own little creatures and gremlins and whatever else that are in the game and basically testing how well we are. So uncompromising mode is, like I said, one of those mods that is super awesome and will literally test your skills. So if you want to go ahead and try out what I'm referring to, give it a shot. But I would love to see this built into DST because I think if we ever got something closely relatable to it, it could really take all those people and bring them back into Don't Starve together again. Not to say people have left, but just imagine that this sort of thing got added in, how amazing it could be. I would definitely go back to the game even further than I already am right now and start to feel like, okay, there's a huge challenge on my hands and I have to do it until I can finally complete the challenge and or survive for as long as I can, making myself an endless survivor and to see if I can actually survive to day 500, 1000 or whatever, how difficult it gets until it gets so impossible that I can no longer survive anymore. Sounds tough, but in the reality, it, it would be very exciting. So comment down below what you think and if you think it's too much to add in or whatever, I just want to hear a ton of comments because I'm really excited to see something like this added. Will I see it added? I don't know. Could we see it added? Maybe. Who knows? Otherwise, I'm excited for all the new updates that Clay has been bringing us because they've been doing a great job and I'm very excited to see Weber get that skill tree update hopefully next week or this week. I don't know. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon.